We're here with uh, the Drowning Pool guys at a Rock of the Range. What's up? How you doing, guys? Great, yeah. Yeah, trying to get it, trying to get it cranked back up from uh, from last night. I woke up this morning. I don't know what happened, but I was wet and sticky. <laughs> that, that's what I said <laughs> earlier, man. I stole your line. <laughs> The bad news is it ain't going to get any less sticky out here today. It looks like it's going to be a human son of a bitch, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, trying, we're trying to recreate rock at noon. <laughs> That's right. We'll but that last time you guys were here a couple years ago, monster stage. This year, you're on the big main stage. So that's got to be cool. Yeah, yeah. somebody must have messed up. <laughs> we get to, it's, it's like Thanksgiving, and we get to, for the first time, get to sit at the, uh, the adult table. We're not we're not off on the the, the little kid so fold we're out make fools chair. Of ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Never we'll embarrass the family for sure. <laughs> you guys, you know, uh, so close to having a number one song in uh, Feel Like I Do. It was a great way to come out. I mean, the first song on the album. I can't think of a better way to come out than to have uh, the the team that we've had, you know, backing it and pushing it, and uh, the support that we've gotten on it. So you're saying you can't think of a better way to come out than number one. <laughs> so that means that's like. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> yes. Son, that don't even make no sense. You could be second, third, fourth. Hell, you can even be fifth. <laughs> the other thing was, you know, you guys had made your way through Boise before the actual album dropped. Uh, we were spinning Feel Like I Do. Love the song. Still spinning it hardcore. And, uh, you know, Ryan, we could tell a little under the weather. The voice was getting to you a little bit. But this is why we love Drowning Pool is because you guys, not only did you perform acoustically for us, come into the studio and rocked out three acoustic songs, but then that night at the Knitting Factory, you guys bleep and killed it and that is why we respect bands like you because even though you're under the weather you're road dog and probably the last thing you want to do is come into a radio station and perform acoustically you guys still do it and we thank you for it man seriously you know the, the worst thing about being sick on the road is that you're sick on the road you know you're away from home and everything and uh not feeling well so it almost makes that time on stage even that much more special. So you just still want to, it doesn't matter, you still just want to do everything you can in that, that hour or whatever time you've got up there. Just, just, and you know, and so I have that's, so... That's why we do what we do, is that yeah. time with the fans right there. And I actually have so much respect for you guys. Had I known you were not feeling that well, I would have said, you know what, you don't need to do an acoustic performance for us. We've, you've done them before, you'll do them again. But, uh, but it's just that, it's that which makes you guys so lovable as a rock band besides your music is the fact that you give a damn about the people who are out buying your records and we like to cuddle <laughs> yeah yeah spoon Absolutely. little spooning all right rock right. spoon <laughs> rock spoon so uh you guys have been on the road since you've been through boys you still you haven't had any time off do you see anything in the future where you might actually get a damn break we get our last show is june 20th and we get like two weeks off three weeks off and the only reason we get that time off is because uh our drummer's having a baby. Well, he's not, but he's, his wife well, no, is. He's pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we get, we all get to go home while he spits out a puppy, and then it, you know, I guess he gets to play father for about five days, and this, then we're back on the road. So. Yeah, maternity leave and rock and roll yeah. not very long, huh? Yeah, we don't get that. We don't get sick days. You know, we can't call in. So, but what do you? He'll go home. She'll pop the kid out, and he'll be there for five days. He'll leave, and she'll resent him for it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kid will hate him, wife will hate him, and it would be perfect rock star life. Yeah. <laughs> but no, man, at least it sounds good. What do you guys do on your time off? Do you have any, like, uh, plans? Do you plan that far ahead? <laughs> I'm going to go home and have a lot of sex. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> how did your girl feel about that? Is she <laughs> jealous? Of... <laughs> yeah, the dog hates it. <laughs> Awesome, guys. Uh, well, are, are you guys kicking off the stage today? Is that the deal, or are you guys on a little bit later? I think it goes, I think, Seven Dust and us. Yeah, we have the uh, the difficult job of having to follow Seven Dust, which is never never an easy task. Yeah, ironically enough, you guys were opening for Seven Dust last time you came through yeah, town. So, right. but One way I think it would be worse if like, it was Seven Dust, us, and a non-point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be like, awesome, really? Awesome. <laughs> it would be much better if you guys could have uh, could have played right before Limp Bizkit. Huh. Can okay. You make that happen? Yes, yes, I would like to. <laughs> we'll, we'll fight the powers of beast if we can't make it happen. But uh, guys, thanks for stopping by. Have a great show. It's great to see you guys again, man. You too. Thanks, thanks for having us on. Thank you.